Michael Brantley, one of the most elite bats and eyes of this generation of baseball player, has decided to retire. That was news you may or may not have missed over the weekend. We thought it appropriate here to talk about his great career. 15 seasons in the big leagues, an all-star five times. A career 298 hitter. He was great when the lights were brightest in the fall, in the World Series in particular. And I'll take you back to one date, Harold, where it began. And that was when uh, CC Sabathia was traded to the Milwaukee Brewers. Mm. And uh, one of the players, it, it was for three players and a player to be named later. The player to be named later, throw in guy, was Michael Brantley. Wow. Who launched his career with the, the then Indians and went on to play for 14 additional wow. seasons. Really great player. Look, you've got a lot of uh, depth Shoot. with his career. I remember played with when he was dad. born. Yeah. You know, I, I remember Mickey talking about his son will be born tomorrow. That's how long that goes on. It's crazy, yeah. right? And now he's finished playing. But their relationship was so unique because Mick went on to be a great hitting coach. And, you know, we talk about Chipper Jones a lot or dad, father, son relationships. This guy's a big league hitting coach. Mickey's on the right, Michael on the left there. And they would have signs and cues. I saw it at the World Series one year when Michael was hitting in the World Series batting practice right here. And Mickey's down the line and he comes out and they'd say, you're drifting. You know, you're, you got to get, you're turning too much. You're, I mean, it was awesome to watch. And obviously, I played for those who don't know. I played with his dad, Mickey, in the Mariner organization. Yeah, yeah. And his, and he, you know, Michael um, accumulated much bigger statistics than his dad. Played a lot sure. longer, um, higher career batting average, and he's decided to shut it down. And I, you know, I'd also say this: I'm sure that if if Michael wanted to play another year, he would have found some place to play. Yeah. Because the last couple years, he'd had that reputation of being a uh, an adjunct hitting coach, a mentor. And a guy that's going to give you the knock when you need it. But he's decided to shut it down after 15 years. That's, Good for him. That's the biggest change in the sport. People ask, what's the biggest change from when you played in the 80s and 90s to now? That player in the 80s and 90s is playing another season. Because you just didn't have the financial wherewithal to say, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I made my $100 million. I'm yeah. out. Today's player can say, I'm out, and be good with it. That player who says... I still got something left in the tank. Is going to grind it to the end. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, Do this this guy was elite, and I think uh, we've got some some graphics here uh, that illustrate exactly what kind of a batting eye he had. Thanks to Joe Calico for putting this up on social media. 15 seasons, he struck out looking just 210 times in those 15 years. Wow. 62 of those came on pitches that were out of the zone, and here they are. And we're talking about pitches that were shadow strikes in some cases. But some of the, I mean, this is really a, a great visual. And Joe goes on to say in this final sentence here, one of the most elite eyes this game has ever seen.